Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at Blake Moore and Cooper 1970, Impact of Early Visual Experience, and this is for the OCR A2 Psychology Spec. Background. Working at the University of Cambridge, Blake Moore and Cooper conducted a study into the effects of the environment on the development of the brain in cats. The, the, the background to this study includes work by Hirsch and Spinelli at the Stanford University in California, where the researchers rid kittens with one eye viewing vertical stripes and the, uh, and the other eye viewing horizontal stripes, and found that most of the neurons in the visual cortex were monocularly driven, uh, driven by the eye, and the preferred orientation of the neurons reflected the pattern experienced in that eye. This suggests that the neurons of the visual cortex showed plasticity in that they developed according to the environment experienced. Blakemore and Cooper's study was related to this, but in their study they raised kittens exposing them to an environment of either horizontal or vertical stripes, which the kittens experienced uh, binocularly, with both eyes. Aims The aim of this study was to limit the visual experience of the kittens to one orientation, either vertical stripes or horizontal stripes, and to compare the behavioural consequences of this restricted visual experience on the kittens. The study also aimed to investigate the uh, neurophysiological effects of the neurons in the kittens' visual cortex. This study would therefore investigate the responses to the kittens' brain development to their external environment and illustrate brain plasticity in their developing visual sense. And here you can see a picture of um, the apparatus they use where the kitten has um, a thing around its neck that stops it from um, tilting its head uh, above 130 degrees so it can't view these as horizontal stripes. It's pretty cool. Um, procedure. The researchers studied kittens from birth until they were about one, one year old. The researchers strictly controlled the visual environment that they exposed the kittens to. Um, the ways in which they did this was, from birth the kittens were kept in a completely dark room. Uh, from the age of approximately two weeks, the visual experience of the kittens was manipulated by exposing them to either a completely vertically orientated or a completely horizontally orientated environment. They achieved this by placing the kittens in a piece of apparatus that was um, cylindrical in shape, 46 cm in diameter and 2 meters high. Inside the cylinder, there were either vertical black and white stripes or on the walls or horizontal black and white stripes, as far as the kitten could see. The stripes were various whips and the kitten spent five hours a day in this apparatus. They wore a black collar, uh, so they could not see their own bodies and this limited their vision to 130 degrees. The stripes were illuminated by a spotlight placed underneath the cover from the, for the container. Um, Blake Moran Cooper reported that while in this apparatus, um, while in this apparatus, the kitten could not see beyond its world of stripes. They also reported that the kittens did not seem upset by the monotony of their environment, environment, and they sat for long periods inspecting the walls of the tube. The exposure of the kittens to this environment came to an end when the kittens were about five months old, as by this time the kittens would have passed through the critical or sensitive period for visual development. Results. Uh, behavioural findings. From the age of five months, the kittens were taken for several hours per week from their dark rooms to a well-lit room that was furnished with chairs and tables. The cats were observed to, uh, to see the behav behavioural consequences of their restricted visual experience. When they were first exposed to the well-lit room, all the cats showed visual deficits. However, they had normal pu uh, pupillary reflexes but showed no startle, startle response when an object or hand was thrust towards them. The kittens also did not demonstrate visual placing. The kittens navigated their way around the room by touch and showed a fear response when, for instance, they reached the edge of the table or chair they were walking on. However, after about 10 hours of exposure to this, exposure to this room, um, some of these defic deficits disappeared. Um, for example, they began to show visual placing and um, startle responses and they jumped from chair to chair with ease. Some deficits remained, however. Um, for example, their visual tracking of moving objects was clumsy, um, jerky head movements, and of, often the cats would try to reach for objects across the room that are out of their reach. They would often bump into objects as they explored the room. There were key differences between the vertically and horizontally raised cats. Blakemore and Cooper report that they were virtually blind for contours perpendicular to, their, to the orientation in which they had be ra been raised. This finding was apparent in two tests which were conducted. Uh, test 1, there was a sheet of perspex with, perspex with thick black and white lines, and this was presented to the cats. They showed no reaction if, the, if it was presented to them in the wrong orientation. 
um, but would respond to the right orientation with a start startle response if the perspex uh, sheet was presented to them. Um, so this basically means if a cat had been vertically raised, um, if the sheet of perspex was presented in the horizontal orientation, they wouldn't um, respond to it. A rod was shaken in front of the cats. If the rod was presented in the same orientation to which the kitten had been raised, the cat would follow and chase the rod. On the other hand, if it was presented in the perpendicular orientation to which the cats had been raised, then the cat would ignore the rod. Neurophysiological findings. In a normal cat, the visual neurons uh, demonstrate a preferred orientation, and on experience in the world, a normal cat's pattern of neurons would have a balance of horizontal and vertical neurons. However, the horizontally raised kitten had no neurons in the vertical orientation, and the vertically raised kitten had no neurons in the horizontal orientation. These distributions are, are abnormal, um, and this finding was discovered when they operated on two of the cats at 7.5 months old. And here we have um, a clear link to ethics, because one, they studied cats and they restricted their visual environment, but they also operated on two of the cats. Um, so yeah, you can link that to a bit of ethics. Conclusions. Blake, Moore and Cooper conclude that evidently the visual experience of these animals in early life has modified their brains, and there are profound uh, perceptual consequences. This study showed that the development of the brain, at least in the visual sense, responds to the environment that is, that is experienced. Neurons that had, begun, that had begun with a preferred vertical orientation changed the horizontal pre preference when the environment presented uh, consisted of only horizontal black and white stripes. Therefore, this conveys the role that nurture plays in the development of vision in cats. Um, thank you for watching this presentation. Um, I'm sorry if I spoke a bit too fast, but I hope you paused and made some notes. And as always, I'm going to be making some more videos, so make sure you check those out. Thank you.